Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. The risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. There's a free trial for 14 days. It comes with education. Okay, what you get in the education is a Bookmap educational course, parts one through four. Uh, and... Um, uh, it might be a little different than uh, what you're accustomed to in terms of education uh, because uh, we're really looking at what moves the market here, uh, why price moves to new levels, uh, and that's understanding sweeps of the book uh, and uh, just basic market mechanics that um, uh, they may seem somewhat basic, uh, but uh, it's really um, uh, important to understand. Uh, and then uh, that leads into more about uh, structure and understanding those those uh, market mechanics uh, in structure, uh, and then uh, and then looking for opportunities uh, is the part three and uh, setups uh, and and strategies to take advantage of um, uh, some some of the uh, uh, things that you can see uh, in Bookmap. Uh, that offer that uh, that advantage, and then part four gets into more um, advanced uh, correlations and uh, um, uh, different, uh, uh, you know, some of the advanced add-ons. Okay, now every day uh, as well, part of that education is access to the advanced live order flow webinars that start at 11 uh, a.m. Eastern time, so in about half hour, uh, and there's some other resources as well. Okay, any questions, you can reach us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, let's take a look, quick look here at the website. I uh, just want to show it to you. Um, there's an intro video here. Uh, just in basic information about Bookmap. Uh, sign up for the free webinar here, uh, which is this webinar. Uh, and um, Bookmap for equities, we also connect to equities. And I want to let you know that uh, we're going to be offering cryptocurrencies as well shortly. So uh, probably in about another month or so. So um, uh, really covering uh, uh, all of the markets that have uh, order book information and volume. Okay, Forex does not have that uh, because there's no real centralized exchange. So you don't really get that, uh, that kind of data. Um, but uh, uh, the cryptocurrencies will. All right, and the um, uh, for the futures, of course, and the equities, of course. So uh, uh, you will need a data provider, uh, and this, these are the data providers you can use to connect Bookmap to the live markets. And you'll see that in a few of these here, that, that some of these are, are platforms. Okay, well, we we connect to the API of the platform, like Ninja Trader, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation. All right, so uh, th there's that option as well. But we are a platform just like NinjaTrader. So you can connect Bookmap uh, via CQG, Arrhythmic, Gain, uh, IQ Feed, Transact, etc. Okay, for the uh, equities, it's through Dev Experts. All right. Um, okay, uh, here is the uh, pricing page uh, for the free trial information 14 days, uh, Bookmap Basic, Advanced, and Quant. Um, it's 49 per month for the basic It's billed quarterly. Okay. So it'll be $147 for three months. And then the advanced is 99 per month billed quarterly. Uh, you get that 14 day free trial and that offers the, um, uh, that free education as well. Okay. Uh, what you also get, uh, with the book map advanced is the ability to trade right off of the chart. And this is a, a real nice advantage, uh, because you're able to, uh, look at the heat map, the liquidity, uh, and um, uh, use that to your advantage. Uh, you can hide your orders behind high liquidity or front run them to um, look for a higher probability of getting filled. Uh, there's also uh, these add-on indicators like the large lot tracker. We start to identify not only high liquidity, but specific players in the market. Okay, Iceberg order or iceberg detector does the same. Uh, there's some order book imbalances um, and volume imbalance uh, indicators in a correlation tracker. All right. If you need a data feed um, to go along with your free trial, you can click here. 
if you want to see all the details of the plans, you can click here for the comparison. All right, social media, you can follow us on Twitter at bookmap underscore pro and get the up-to-date information about uh, what's going on uh, and retweets of other traders. Uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, and um, when new videos are uploaded, uh, get, uh, get uh, alerted about that. Uh, if you're new here, uh, I would recommend looking at some of the intro videos here, starting with that. Uh, look at maybe some of the uh, features and components in this playlist here. Uh, and then um, the uh, order flow video snippets. Okay, the, these are, um, this is market phenomena that we cover uh, very concisely with these uh, very short videos. And, uh, uh, but this is what we go over in Bookmap um, in the uh, uh, advanced uh, uh, webinars in the live market. Okay, so they're they're not very concise in the in the uh, webinars. We'll go through these in detail here, looking for opportunities. Okay, um, that's that. And uh, let's take a look at Bookmap. Okay, so we had uh, oil inventories here uh, just a few minutes ago, and um, uh, you can see that uh, the, the the spike here to the upside in uh, in crude, uh, just uh, above the figure here. But you can see it did not accept uh, above the figure. So we're right back down in the range. Not what I'm not sure what the uh, the numbers were uh, for the uh, inventories, but uh, uh, it looks like uh, uh, hasn't been too much of a reaction uh, from it. It's been about a 20 cent move, and that's about it. Um, and we're right back in the middle of the range. Okay. So anyway, uh, we can take a look at crude. Uh, I was going to look at the Nasdaq uh, again today. Uh, reason being is uh, oh, we've been watching it and. Um, uh, have a, a bigger picture approach here. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll stick with the NASDAQ. The, um, uh, we, we, were, we were covering it yesterday and there's a, a point of control on the higher time frame up at, at this area and did not accept above it. Okay, so uh, very curious to see. Uh, I'm, I'm anticipating more move to the downside here uh, in, uh, in the NASDAQ. And a uh, nice spike above uh, this area here. Uh, but, uh, and now we're coming back down. So let's take a look at book map and we're going to see a nice reversal pattern. Okay. Nice big head and shoulders there. Okay. Anyway, what are we looking at here in book map? All right. So, uh, we're pretty zoomed out here. Uh, and, uh, it uh, looks like there's, you know, a lot of information and data, uh, here. Uh, there, there is. Uh, it's actually really simple, though, uh, to understand this data. Uh, it's historical best bid and offer. Uh, it is the volume with the volume dots here. Okay, where where the volume traded on that historical best bid and offer. Uh, and then the um, the third element here is this heat map. Okay, this grayscale heat map that you see here. And all this is uh, is the recording of the uh, of the dome. So all of the uh, the data that you see in the dome is recorded and projected onto the chart. That's all we're looking at here. Okay, we have an indicator sub panel, but I'm going to close that, uh, and uh, we have a, a sub panel here as well for volume. So um, uh, let me uh, let me cover uh, the uh, uh, some of the features here by uh, really simplifying this chart. Okay, and turning off all of these levels of data and just look here at a simple volume dot set. I want that off. I want this on. There we go. Okay. And historical best bid and offer off. Okay. Here's our candlestick chart, five minute candlestick chart. Okay. Open high, low close of a specific time period in this case, five minutes. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, I, I like candlestick charts. I like, uh, the, um, uh, you know, starting to understand the speed of the market, uh, understanding the, you know, pressure, buying pressure in the wicks uh, or selling pressure, uh, and then understanding the, um, uh, the, uh, the body as well. Uh, and then, you know, getting an overall feel here. The problem with the candlestick chart here, uh, there, there are many. Uh, number one is this aggregated data, okay? Open, high, low, close of five minute period, and that's it, okay? We're making pretty important financial trading decisions here. We need a lot more transparency than just open, high, low, close. 
okay, and just kind of guessing at where traders are uh, committed uh, within this candlestick chart. Okay, that's all opaque here. Uh, we don't know where they traded. Uh, we don't have the volume uh, here on this candlestick chart. Um, we don't know where it traded, uh, how much, and um, uh, uh, the uh, the type of trader, uh, more aggressive buying or selling. And, and that's, uh, that's a problem. Uh, and, um, and Bookmap solves that issue uh, with the volume dots, all right? Uh, there's also, a, a, and I'll, I'll switch on the volume dots in just a minute. What else uh, we're missing here is because this information in the candlestick chart is aggregated, uh, we're not getting the um, microstructure, okay? And it's just a really simple thing. Uh, if we just look at historical best bid and offer, we're going to see microstructure, okay? So up here, uh, in this area, we, we really don't, in the candlestick chart, you can see the wicks, okay? But what, what is really occurring here uh, is um, uh, you can see that we broke out, okay? Let me just illustrate this, okay? We broke out from this area here. You see the breakout, and you see the consolidation and acceptance above that breakout area here uh, at uh, this uh, uh, 6283 level. And then you can see the sharp break of this consolidation right here. Okay, this consolidation we don't see uh, in the candlestick chart. We just see some wicks up here. Okay, this is an important area uh, to understand for this reversal. Uh, and then we break that that uh, uh, this consolidated area here. Okay, and you can see the quick move to the downside. And then look at this kind of um, climb back up into that area where we broke from. We're not able to. Uh, 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 go above this line here that I just drew in at 83 and uh, the sellers take control all right and uh, that's why the, we, we can see that the, we've moved down to the swing down here uh, at um, uh, this uh, 63 level down here all right so just this microstructure um, is giving us a lot of insight uh, and uh, that's the the problem with the uh, uh, the candlestick chart is that you'll lose that microstructure. You just don't, you don't get it because it's aggregated. All right. So now let's turn on the volume dots and let's see exactly where we're trading. Okay. So the volume solves, the volume dots here solve that issue of where are we, uh, uh, where are the traders committed? Okay. And starting to understand order flow changes by looking at this volume. Right, and uh, so let's just zoom into this area up here. Okay. And um, this five minute period from here over to here, okay, here's the price action. This is really what occurred within this candle. Okay, well, this candle ended here. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, it ended right here, okay. Um, and, uh, Actually, it it, uh, it moved down uh, immediately. Actually, this is what what really occurred. Okay, uh, it, it it closed here, moved down immediately, and then moved right back up. And then you see the breakout of this area here. Okay, so and look at the aggressive buying here. Okay, of the breakout of this uh, 83 level that we were illustrating. Okay, these are initiated buyers. They're they're this is a sweep of the book. This is what we go over in the educational course, okay? Understanding this kind of um, uh, uh, movement here uh, it, are basic market mechanics, but they're, they're extremely profound in their uh, um, uh, significance here, okay? Because this is a move to the upside. We come back, we test where we just broke from here, uh, and we can see that we just chop around uh, and we're not able to get back up into some of the highs here. In fact, you can see the selling here come in. All of this information is within this five minute period. And uh, we're getting a lot of insight here by just looking at the breakout and then seeing sellers come in, testing back down here, and then we're not able to make a new high here, okay? Back up into this area, all right? Uh, all of that, is, that information here is just, it's just not there in the candlestick chart. We don't, we don't see it. 
right? But uh, uh, now we have uh, really good information on where traders are committed uh, and um, uh, uh, how much they traded uh, and where where exactly and what type. All right, so what do I mean by what type? Let's uh, zoom into this little area up here, okay? And uh, what I mean by what type uh, is the aggressive buying and selling. So zoomed in here, uh, now we're looking at very simplified um, version uh, of the, well, it's not a version, it's a, we're looking at historical best bid and offer here. Best offer is the red line, best bid is the green line. That's it, okay? And then these, these dots here, these transactions, uh, these, are, these are trade events that took place, okay? Now, um, uh, a green dot is an aggressive market buy order, okay? It, uh, uh, this trader wanted in, they wanted to buy here, so they hit the market buy button. Uh, and uh, we know exactly what traded here and at what time and date uh, and what was on the, uh, the offer or ask. Uh, and this was for a volume of one. This is one and this is one as well. Okay, so we can see three contracts traded here. In fact, it's, it's, it's right here as well. Uh, and um, there's also another trade that took place over here. Okay, uh, but uh, this is a, uh, a market sell. Right, you can see it here. It's a, it's a red dot. Okay, they, they cross the spread and hit the market sell button here. Okay, so that's it. It's just really sim simplified information. Uh, and um, however, uh, you know, we're, we're looking down at, you know, microsecond level here. Uh, we can continue to zoom in, but uh, uh, I'll spare you uh, that detail. But watch as I start to zoom out. Okay, and you'll see that all of these dots here will start to, consolidate just graphically or visually okay into a bigger dot so that uh, those two separate trades are now for a volume of two here in a bigger dot so that's that's what um, uh, we're doing as we start to zoom out and uh, to make sense of all of this volume back and forth you're going to note that uh, this turns into a bigger dot and we can see the the overall shape of the volume that took place up here so yeah, there was a lot of aggressive buying, okay, uh, that uh, that moved price to the upside. We start to see some of that selling though here in this pie display of the chart uh, or the volume dot. So uh, more than um, a half was aggressive buying, but there was some selling in here, okay, and uh, we can see it in the uh, in the pie display. As I continue to zoom out. Uh, this is the overall shape here. We consolidate it just graphically, just visually. All of the information is still there. We can zoom right back in very quickly and see everything. And we can zoom right back out really quickly. Okay, and uh, we're getting the overall shape though of uh, what really occurred here. All right. So that's how Bookmap displays the volume, uh, and um, uh, we can uh, start to. Uh, piece all of this together and start to see shifts in the order flow. So for example, all of this aggressive buying here to the upside, and in, look at this double and triple top here, and look at the aggressive buying up here. Okay, it's not like this. Okay, they're, they're, they're drying up, they're exhausting. Okay, we're not, we're not finding buyers any longer, aggressive buyers. Okay. Instead, we rotate down below the, this little microstructure, and we see sellers start to come into the market. Okay. This is a reversal that's starting to sh take shape. Okay. Very clearly. All right. So uh, this is what we look for, uh, and we start to understand shifts in the order flow based on what, where we see the volume uh, and uh, how much is trading um, and what type of volume and this volume is an important part, uh, but um, uh, what about the uh, depth of market? Okay, let's zoom out and let's uh, view the uh, current market. Okay. All right, let me zoom in a little bit here so we can get some numbers. All right, so the current market. How how do we um, uh, how do we access the uh, the, the dome? Uh, in book map. Well, it's in these uh, data columns here. There's a, an option for current order book. Okay, that's the dome uh, in book map. All right, so um, 
uh, you can see here the uh, the numbers uh, at these price levels here, and then you can see best bid and offer right here, okay, at 77. So this is uh, the depth on the offer, and this is the depth on the bid. And this is important information. It's the auction. We we know where traders are lined up, and that's what we use the dome for is to understand the depth. Where 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 are traders lined up, and uh, where might we trade into because they're providing liquidity up at these areas. And we want to know that information. Uh, it's it leads to a lot of insight. Um, and um, the problem though uh, with a dome uh, is it just gives the current market information. Okay, these numbers are always changing. Okay, we we can see them rapidly changing right now. Right, so traders are coming in and and uh, adding and pulling liquidity all the time. The problem with the dome is that uh, it only gives the current snapshot of what's going on. Okay, it doesn't record the history of it. So if you want to utilize the dome, uh, you're going to have to remember these areas here, and uh, it's it's actually um, uh, it's it's possible. It's going to take a lot of mental energy to to re uh, remember these areas uh, and um, uh, know the behavior not only at these some of these price levels but the areas around it okay are they bidding up in front of it or are they pulling and adding down below it uh, or uh, are they uh, what about on the uh, on the offer how are they behaving that's a lot of information to uh, uh, try to uh, comprehend uh, book map solves that issue by the heat map okay so what we do uh, in this window, which is still the current market window here with best bid and offer, current best bid and offer, last traded volume with these numbers, uh, is we take these areas of high liquidity and we paint them uh, bright in the heat map. All right, so when these numbers change, uh, you're going to see the heat map color change or uh, grayscale change. Soon it will be color, uh, the new version coming out. Uh, but um, uh, so... Um, uh now what we what we've uh, uh been able to do when we change these uh numeric values into a a, a graphical uh, representation we're starting to understand um the behavior uh of these uh, of of these traders historically because we take this data and project it onto the chart historically okay so for example look at the behavior here we're able to decide, decipher so much information here. Um, we can see that um, a pretty aggressive here on the uh, on the offer, and they just got filled here. It looks like uh, at uh, the 77 level. Okay, but look at how they're lowering the offer with high liquidity, and look at this player here. Okay, it's got to be the same player that was at 78. He pulled his liquidity here and added uh, one full point lower. That's a uh, rather um, um, uh, common behavior of larger players. It looks like he's still here. Okay, he's here, and then he just pulled and then added back up. He was at 76, you know, round number, uh, and then and then uh, came up to 77 here, and now he pulled his his liquidity at 77 as well. Okay, and look at these guys down here at 73. They just pulled their liquidity. Okay, so uh, we're able to read the um, the dome historically now. Uh, and that, that's uh, going to give us a lot of insight because now we can zoom out and not only use the dome for current market action and activity, but for much bigger picture. And we're able to understand where they're lined up in the limit order book uh, historically and currently. All right. So uh, uh, we can we can understand the the evolution of the auction here. Right, and that's going to give us uh, uh, a lot of insight. Uh, we can understand. We can start to understand the dome uh, much better uh, by understanding uh, uh, the behavior here uh, of these traders. Okay, because um, these um, these traders, uh, you know, we're a lot of a lot of. Um, a lot of people say that the dome is uh, is rather useless because uh, it's there's so much fake liquidity. Okay, I mean there are there are a lot of orders that are pulled, like we're noticing here. Okay, uh, and uh, that that high liquidity is, is pulled in some of these areas. You know, it happens all day long. Uh, but we're able to make the distinction between high liquidity that stays in the book uh, and fills, 
or polls. And that's where you're also going to really uh, be able to utilize bookmap uh, because you can make that um, uh, distinction. Like we can zoom into this level here, this at 77 here. Okay. And let's zoom in here and let's look at exactly the behavior here. All right. Well, here are 69 contracts traded because I have a volume column here for this chart range. And um, let's go right to here. So actually 56 traded here within this range. Uh, well, within all of this range here, but uh, uh, how much liquidity was here? Okay, well, if we if I go back here, here here's 56 contracts were here. Okay, and then look at it trade into that high liquidity, and this guy's staying in the book. Okay, so this trader here, and he, then he starts to pull some of it, right? This trader that uh, was pro providing this high liquidity is getting filled. Okay, so this was not fake liquidity. Okay, we know that. That's fact. Okay, so now we're able to make that distinction. Okay, so uh, uh, on the that was over here, I believe. Uh, now we have this really nice move to the upside here. Um, okay, so uh, starting to understand the um, uh, specific areas uh, and. Um, uh, the uh, liquidity here in the auction and if they got filled in that auction, okay, or if they pulled. Uh, and that's going to allow us insight to uh, larger players' activity. Uh, and um, as we start to piece together uh, the context of that. Uh, and that's what we do in the advanced uh, order flow webinar, okay, is putting all of those pieces together in context and reading the tape which is the traded volume, okay? And then reading the auction, which is the uh, heat map here. And uh, have a full view of really what's going on in the uh, uh, current and the historical uh, market, okay? So uh, let's wrap it up, we'll call it a day. And uh, for those of you in the uh, uh, trial, uh, we'll, we'll see you in the um, uh, advanced order flow webinar in just a couple minutes, all right? Thanks.